finish that puzzle unless I find that piece. Oh goodness. Oh, good morning guys. How are you? It's good to see you. Um, we're going to get started with our lesson here in a minute, but first I have a few announcements I want to make. On September 13th, we'll be doing our back to school service in the sanctuary with Pastor Cook. He'll be praying for all of you students and teachers at the close of service. On September 20th, we'll be doing our face-to-face -face in life, kids. Yay! We're going to get to see each other in person for our first lesson back on September 20th. Come back. We're ready to have some praise and worship and a lesson and snack and talk all about your time away. So those were the announcements for today. I wanted to go over our memory verse for today's lesson real quick. I made you a pretty picture. Here's our memory verse for this morning. The Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. Luke 19.10 as you can see from my puzzle, I'm missing the piece right here in the middle. One of the most important pieces of the puzzle. So while you watch our video lessons, I'm going to keep looking for that piece. I'll see you when they're done. Stories of the Bible, the lost sheep. This is Jesus, hey who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ugh, yuck. 
They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, uh, hmm. what will he do? Who stay here? Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors, saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here. Celebrate with me, because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. Stories of the Bible. The Parable of the Lost Coin. Suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Won't she light a lamp and sweep the entire house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she will call in her friends and neighbors and say, Celebrate with me and rejoice, because I have found my lost coin. In the same way, the angels of God are joyful and rejoice when even one person stops sinning and follows God. One of the most important parts. Oh, there. Now it's finished. But I was thinking, it wouldn't have mattered if it was this piece or this piece over here. If you have a piece missing, it's not complete. It's not done. So all the pieces are important. There's no... There's not one piece that's more or less important than the other, like us. To God, we're all the same. We're all equals. He loves us the same. It doesn't matter who we are or what we've done or where we've been. We're all the same in God's eyes. So like this puzzle, it doesn't matter if it's a middle piece or an outside piece. Every piece is important, just like you are important to God. God will seek and save you no matter who you are. You are important to God. Let's go over our memory verse one more time. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. That means God's going to come look for you no matter where you are, to find you because you're important to him and he wants you to be part of his kingdom. And in our Bible, in case you want to read this story for yourself, our, the Children's Illustrated Bible, the lesson is on page 238 and it's titled Lost and Found. And you'll find the two stories the two stories that were in our video today. The story about the shepherd looking for his hundredth sheep and the woman looking for her tenth coin. So if you'd like to read those stories, they're in our Children's Illustrated Bible. I sure enjoyed spending a little time with you today. I can't wait to see you guys next week at our back to school service. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah.